Now this is the 8th generation Hilux, the first all new version of Toyota's best selling 4x4 in a decade. Now anticipation about this thing has been, well, to put it one way, right through the roof. So here are our top 5 reasons to buy it. The new Hilux looks great. Sure it's sacrificed a bit of the old hardline chunky truckness, but thankfully no modern dual cab utes look like they used to. This Hilux can now comfortably hold its own style-wise against trend-setting lookers like VW Amarok and Ford Ranger. Its sharp flared front end and tapered sides all the way back to the business end of its tray meld nicely into a good-looking truck with plenty of on- and off-road presence. And those good looks continue inside. The cabin is a touch taller and wider than previously and it really is easy on the eyes. It looks and feels like a car's interior and it's been designed for real world use. The multi-function touchscreen unit on the dash is nice and big, great for viewing maps or reversing camera, and it's user friendly. And with that interior style comes substance as well. All buttons, knobs and dials are easy to reach and easy to use. Important when you're touring or off-roading. There's tilt and reach steering wheel adjustment in all models, and SR5s like this one have seat height adjustment. And the seats are bloody comfortable. One of the first things you notice when you drive this Hilux is just how smooth and quiet this new 2.8 litre turbo diesel engine really is. In the 2.8 there is little to no rattle, evident in the 3 litre it replaces. You really have to kick this thing in the guts to get any noise out of it. There is a 2.4 litre diesel option mated to the new 6 speed manual or auto gearbox and a 4 litre petrol V6 tweaked from the previous Hilux but that's only available with the auto. The Gutsy 2.8 is a real winner. On paper it produces 130 kilowatts and 450 newton meters. That's 90 newton meters more than the previous one in auto form. In real terms it's punchier and responds more readily than the outgoing 3 litre. What's more, it works superbly with the 6-speed auto, which is a much more refined, faster working unit than the 5-speed auto of old. And that tended to feel a bit agricultural at times. The new Hilux has lost none of the model's hard-earned off-road credibility. It's been designed and rebuilt from the ground up. It's been 10 years in the making, including 6 years of research and hardcore testing and development right here in Australia. Toyota's white coats drove this thing over more than 650,000 kilometres of rough as guts Aussie terrain, and it shows. There's all new chassis and suspension, improved ground clearance, more rear wheel travel, the leaf springs are 100mm longer than before, and sturdy underbody protection. Bonus, the new ATRC electronic traction control system is very effective at limiting wheel spin. There's also a rear diff lock in SR and SR5s. When driven back to back with other modern utes, the Hilux's new 2.8 litre turbo diesel lacks the power punch of some of its rivals, namely the Ford Ranger's 3.2 litre 5 cylinder. But that's really just nitpicking. Now the biggest question everyone has is whether this new Hilux is as good as its predecessors. Well, the short answer is, yep. Now this new Hilux is better than the one it replaces in every possible way. It's better looking, more refined, it's quieter and nicer to drive, and it's still a champion off-road. The bonus is it has a five-star NCAP rating, and it's got all of the mod cons. Instead of turning its back on its heritage, this Hilux has embraced it. All in all, the top five reasons to buy the new Hilux SR5 four-wheel drive are great styling, car-like interior, refinement, impressive drivetrain, and of course, it's awesome off-road ability. Okay.